We need to tackle the clothes. I can't look at it anymore. What in the hell? Oh, as if I've ruined this already. That is all my drawers sorted for now. Tops and underwear and socks in here. Oop, these drawers are really small. Trousers, skirts and dresses. I don't think I've got anything down here. I've got another free drawer. And then my cupboards. Jeans, pajama tops and bottoms, trackies and like cargo pants. Then just like some hoodies and jackets and stuff. My shoes are all down there. And then in here, I've just got like scarves and hats and accessories, more dresses. And then like longer stuff basically. And a big coat. So it's a few hours later, I've just been doing a few bits and bobs around the house, but it's time to watch a movie. As I mentioned before, I am part of the Sky Cinema Club, which means I get exclusive access to all of their latest original films, which is so awesome, and I get to share some of my favourites with you. Tonight I'm going to be watching a film called Old Henry. It looks like a proper nail biter, so I'm really excited, and I will give you a little review afterwards. I'm going to pop it up on the projector. I'm so excited to watch it! <laughs> also ordered a Wagamama's. So just to give you guys a quick overview of the movie, it's basically about a quiet man and his son taking in a wounded stranger that they find near their home along with a bag full of money. And the stranger claims that he's a sheriff being pursued by outlaws, but they are also claiming that they are men of the law. So this man and his son cannot be sure who to trust. Good morning from my bed. Last night's movie was an absolute banger. Once again, the acting was spot on. Last night I couldn't like sleep properly and I was like, what's going on? And then I had a dream. Yeah, the movie just got me thinking of like some stuff that's happened to me in the past. Like got me thinking about who you can trust and like situations where I've been like unsure of people's intentions um, or actions. It had me thinking about like some sus characters in my life, in my past, who assume positions of power or like positions in which they're supposed to be trustworthy and they abuse it. Liars, tricksters, like generally kind of schemy people. You know like the type who use you to your advantage when you're like good for them before you suss anything out and like kind of take your kindness for weakness and then once they don't need you anymore or can't get anything that they need out of you, they kind of like completely flip, like do a 180 and cross you and do some d d dirty untrustworthy things that like show their true character i never told you guys this story i think i might have like mentioned it before but um it reminded me of the story of my dodgy landlord if you guys have been around for a while you'll remember when i lived in the flat that had the little patio and like the fireplaces with the exposed brick wall it, there was just so many like suspicious like dodgy things that happened you know when you just know but like you don't want to believe that this person is dodgy or that you're gonna have to change up your situation again because someone's dodgy like it's out of your control as you guys know I only stayed there for six months and that's why basically my landlord was my neighbor I was like okay that's fine like cool whatever yeah so I moved in and like naturally I think I just thought that they'd have a job or something and it was like spring going into summer when I moved in this landlord had no job my patio was attached to their garden it basically just split so I'd have like a little outdoor space so they they were basically super invasive and just always in my space but like invasive to the point of like calling my name when they could see me like in my living room from their garden 
and like always trying to chat to me and yeah just very bizarre <laughs> um but i didn't think anything of it i thought they were really nice and like I was like, oh, just like really friendly, da, 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 but like could be kind of annoying, especially with the job that I do, because I don't go to work either. So we're both constantly at home. It's like, how am I gonna, when you're always looking through my window, film and you know, all of that stuff. But then it started to get weird. <laughs> um, I remember one time being woken up by a knock on the door at like 7 a.m. and it was the police. I was like, gee. They were asking me if that landlord lived there and I was like, no, like I obviously didn't want to get involved, I didn't know what was going on. I won't go into detail about what the landlord said to me, but yeah, they came around like straight after like, oh, the police hit. Like, yep, looking for you. <laughs> so that was like a first red flag, besides the point that like I couldn't live my life in that house without feeling like I was being watched 24 seven. I'm pretty sure this landlord was an absolute alcoholic as well. Um, every night, I'd play like the same playlist with um oh, i remember one song specifically like i'm traumatized you know that so here's my number <laughs> so call me baby whoever it is every night and there'd be nights where this landlord i would hear them outside my bedroom window like on the main road like shouting at people swearing at people they had this laugh as well that you could hear through the walls all night and then it started to get weird like i'd get messages whenever i was out like oh i've just been in the flat to check this that i was never asked for permission i never like knew of there to be any problems in the flat i never complained about anything in the flat for this landlord to be going in there and checking there's so many things but basically it got to the point where i was like i can't live here because i can't do my job like i don't feel comfortable i feel like i'm always being watched i feel like i can't get a second to myself there was also no heating in that flat so I had to buy like a little heater and I'm pretty sure it was damp. My asthma got really bad. So yeah, it just got to the point where I was like, I need to go like six months in. And I remember sending the email to say like, I'd like to end the lease. It was initially just six months anyway. And it just turned really bitter. And this landlord started telling me that I had broken stuff that was broken when I'd already moved in. Like the cupboard door was dodgy. And they were like, you've broken it off the hinge. Da -da -da. And I was like, um, if you check the messages that we sent each other when I first moved in, you told me to be careful with the cupboard door because it's broken. And yeah, this person ended up being just a compulsive liar, trying to say that I was like breaking stuff. I, I, I did break the, I think it was the key in the lock of the back door, the lock broke. And because this landlord was like going in and out of my flat without permission, without me knowing, they then said, you've broken this and you didn't tell me. I was like, it literally broke last night and I haven't had a chance to let you know yet. And yeah, it just started getting really nasty. So I remember asking for a reference to move to the next flat and it was like, they would give it to me on these terms. Like I'd have to help them and help to convince the people coming to view the flat that would be potentially new tenants that I'd have to like, like encourage them to move in and be like, yeah, this place is amazing. Like it was kind of terrifying. And yeah, because nobody wanted to move in, this landlord started getting more and more petty. And then I remember them sending a message saying something like, oh, I wish I'd never written your reference. And da -da -da. I was like, whoa, dude. I wish I could tell you their name because it just makes it so much funnier. And yeah, so eventually anyway, got the place cleaned professionally, packed up all my stuff. I remember going in to, just double check everything the last day or and the landlord was in there and finally had managed to install heating and had the heat blaring even though for the last six months they they weren't able to do that for me and i was like this is weird and then i also noticed that my hoover was missing i was just driving to take a few last things down to like the dump i think sorry i just had to interject here real quick i remember leaving my hoover in the flat just to hoover up any last bits after i took stuff to the dump and yeah so my la the landlord tried to like gaslight me and say that oh because the key had broken in the lock of the back door that somebody probably <laughs> came in and stole my hoover um and then i messaged my landlord like you like where's my hoover and they were like i don't know i don't know i was like okay cool i'm gonna call the police then suddenly miraculously they were like oh no the builder must have moved it because he was doing some work or something it's here in my house come and pick it up i was like what so you you never leave your house but you didn't know that my hoover was in your house okay so i went to pick up the hoover and i, I can't remember exactly what they said but they said something that was like kind of coded but basically like oh well i've kind of got you back anyway that that was basically the message those weren't the words exactly but i was like what a few months down the line like a couple months down the line obviously moved into the new place unpacked my stuff and i start realizing that things are missing expensive shit like 
a camera lens that was like a grand and a half like, remember that olympus camera if you guys have been around for years like that little cream olympus camera that i got gifted years and years and years ago missing so many things um one of my favorite jumpers and like some gym sets that i remember this landlord specifically being like those are really nice this person has literally systematically gone in and out of my flat and bit by bit stolen things of mine and i was like that's how you paid for the heating i see i see never got my deposit back or anything like that but i just didn't want to be the bit of person i was like i kind of felt sorry for them <laughs> no i didn't kind of i like i fully felt sorry for this person i was like what kind of a sad life do you live that that is how you treat like people tenants people that are like helping you with your livelihood and like taking care of your flat and stuff like that i loved that flat i thought it was really cute but yeah it was just i was like shocked i mean it is what it is you know I'm, i've moved on with my life but that person's probably still really unhappy but yeah like just a, a thing to say like trust your gut and keep your wits about you there were so many red flags i knew something was off i could feel it but you just never want to believe it when you're in the situation it also got me thinking about like karma and how your actions and reactions to things like affect you later on in life and i felt like if i tried to like hold on to it and like go to court and get my deposit back and i just didn't want that energy around me and i just didn't want to hold on to the be hold on to things and be bitter it's like that saying where holding on to anger is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die so i was like cool it is what it is i just will not be putting myself back in that situation and yeah now i'm like i wonder where this person is now because one day they're gonna cross the wrong one you know but yeah the movie like it was it was good it really got me thinking also i, I was thinking like this movie there was not one female actor i don't know if i've ever seen a movie with just one gender in it but it was it was an incredible film i was on the edge of my seat the whole time and yeah it just took a complete 180 and out of nowhere you're like what so i definitely recommend it let me know if you guys have seen it let me know what you thought i'd love to know i am gonna go and have some breakfast and get ready for the day hello <laughs> another day another thing to unpack in the kitchen i can't believe i've finally got some smeg appliances. Who is she? I don't, I don't know her. I don't even know how to talk about it. I feel like nobody ever needs to spend this much money on a kettle and toaster, but because this is my home and my office, I wanted to treat myself. I've wanted these for so long and I couldn't decide whether I wanted cream, white. I, I mean, I don't think it was ever gonna be white or black, but then I saw an inspo pic of the matte black set and I was like, it just has to be the matte black. In true Tasha fashion, the one that I like the most is also the most expensive and the one that's sold out pretty much everywhere. So I had to buy them from two different websites, but it's fine. We're here now, we've got it. Oh my God. This feels way too bougie for me. Like I'm getting imposter syndrome. <laughs> oh, look, it even comes in a dust bag. That's how bougie, oh, stunning. I wanna lick it, no. Stop. Oh, wow. Just wow. Just wow. Just wow. Just wow. Now I just need to figure out where I want to put it. Not being funny, but they've also got authenticity certificates. <laughs> Why does it feel like I'm buying a designer bag right now? <laughs> okay, so initially I wanted to put them in the corner, but there's only one plug. So it's either going to have to go here or over there. And I'm thinking in the little nook over there might be better. Are you joking? Wow, I thought I was filming the whole time and I wasn't. I proceeded to tell you that my old kettle, the way the lid was, is like it had just a little like thing like this that you could pull it up, but all around it was metal. So you would literally burn yourself if you just used the kettle and needed to refill it. It was the most stupid, like who designed that? This on the other hand is an ergonomic masterpiece. I don't even know if that is the right word, but that's what I'm going with. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, if you guys haven't tried this, you guys need to try it. I think we all know that San Pellegrino is an elite drink. I did an Amazon Fresh order and I saw these and I was like, ooh, I've never seen these before. And it's basically like a peach iced tea, but it's like sparkling, it's not super sweet. It's still sweet though, but it's so good. 
Makes me feel like I'm on me Ollie bobs. I'm just currently replying to some of your comments. Just know if I don't reply, I definitely am thumbs upping and liking all the comments. And I just want to say thank you so much for even taking the time. It's wild. I'm going to do my nails because the movie last night, <laughs> I literally picked off every bit of nail polish I had on. Yeah, that's how it made me feel. <laughs> I don't even know what else I'm going to do today. I feel like there's not much to share with you. Tomorrow, I am going to get my booster in hopes that I can finally go to France to see my grandma. So I'll take you guys along with me on that. I might go to the gym later, actually. There's a gym in the building. Like, it's great, but it's kind of limited for leg days. So I've signed up to a gym not too far, about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. So I might actually go to the gym later. The weather's quite nice today. The mountains are looking beautiful. I can't believe that I'm looking at mountains. I need to shoot some Instagram content. I haven't shot any since before moving. It's so long ago. Absolutely not acceptable. Do you know what? Anxiety is still at an all-time high. So I'm just going to shoot this in indoors. We've got a beautiful plain white wall here. I did actually move the sofa to the other side of the, the living room. So I'm going to shoot this here and shoot outside another day. Okay, I have... How did I just catch that? Wait, 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 wait. One sec. Just have to check. I've decided, oh, here's my nails from last night. Lovely, lovely. I've decided I'm gonna go to the gym downstairs in the building today, just cause, I don't know, my anxi anxiety is still a real thing, you know, guys. Just cause I'm happy and I've moved and et cetera, et cetera. Anxiety is still a real thing. And although the weather's nice, I can hear the wind still. So I'm just not prepared to walk through that for like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna go to the gym downstairs. Hopefully there won't be too many people there. Gym outfit of the day, Napa Piri cap on. Love Napa Piri. Just a cropped jumper from Girl Knows All. Tala sports bra, Alphalete leggings. These are my favorite. Um, yes, guys, I've lost weight. I know. So it's Operation Gain Muscle. And then I was gifted these trainers from New Balance. They are so freaking comfortable. It's ridiculous. And I think they look really cool. So thank you, New Balance. I also got gifted this water bottle. I think I showed you already. How cool is that? Sorry, but can someone please tell me why that workout was so difficult? I need to eat more because I had zero energy. Also, I've just realized that I forgot to film the half of the workout. All of a sudden, the gym just started filling up. People just started piling in and I was like, cool. I live in this building with these people. It's kind of awkward. But I, I had the intention of still filming and then I just completely forgot because I was struggling. I don't know what to do with myself now. It's so quiet. <laughs> I'm gonna do my stretch in here. Yours, mine, ours. I could do this for hours. Sit and talk to you for hours. I wanna give you your flowers. And some champagne showers. I need to change the battery. Oh, the shirt belongs to towels. But it's me that gets the vow. Cheers. 